Welcome everybody. Welcome to Homestead Heart. And um, um, I am um, doing this video. I guess I better adjust my camera. Hold on, Grizzly. You're in this one. You're in this one. You're in this one. You're in this one. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm doing this video um, at the request of one of our subscribers. Uh, she requested, you know, that... Um, I speak about why we chose these fellas, livestock guardian dogs, and this particular breed. Uh, do you want me to come down there with you? I could come down there with you, it's not a problem. But you know what? You could easily come over here with me. You're bigger than I am. But anyway, why we chose this particular breed of dog and, um, you know, I would say we did some research. I hope you could see us. We did some research on livestock guardian dogs, maybe starting about a year ago, long before we got the homestead, because we knew that we were gonna be needing these guys. Huh. We knew we were gonna be needing them. Yes, sir, I know, how are you? We knew we were gonna be needing them, and um, so, we wanted to get our research in ahead of time. Okay, so what we did was, in our research, we looked into, we narrowed it down to two breeds. It was either gonna be the Kangle or the Great Pyrenees. And when we looked into the Kangle, I mean, Kangles were very, very loyal dogs, I mean, did their jobs very very well you know but the thing about it is is that they also consider their humans to be livestock right they also consider their humans to be livestock so um <laughs> and so they are like overly protective of their owners and so you have to like socialize and familiarize them with the family and with people who are going to be coming on the homestead you have to do it because otherwise they are extremely aggressive towards strangers not just coyotes and coons and possums and um, and all of that even people that they don't recognize to be people that uh, come on your homestead. They will become very aggressive and maybe even, um, you know, they might even hurt somebody, you know? And so one of our concerns was is that because we have a lot of, sir, what is it? How may I help you? <laughs> You're like all in my face. You're all in the grill, Grizzly. You're all in the grill. So, <laughs> okay. He just like Tamu. Tamu is pitiful too. Hey, Moo, you can come over here if you want. I ain't stopping you. He back there in the cut. <laughs> but anyway, um, we, Grizzly, I'm right here. Stop. You better be glad I got on my outdoor clothes. You all in my face and your breath. Think. Okay, so we said, okay, that might not be a good idea because we have children, grandchildren, other people that may be coming out here to help us on the home. Okay, bud. Okay. Maybe coming out here to help us on the homestead. And they may come. And we didn't want our dogs to be hurting anybody, biting anybody. We didn't want to be responsible for that. So we decided, well, let's look into the Great Pyrenees. And these dogs are very loyal. They're very, you know, but they're very friendly. I mean, they're very friendly dogs, you know, so people can come on the homestead and, I mean, they'll just run right up to them, you know, and they're very friendly. And that's good and not so good, especially when you got people on your, that come on your property that are trespassing. Um, that could be not so good for them to be that friendly because you never want people to see your dogs and, um, you know, your dog's running up to them to be friendly and they think that they're actually trying to do them harm and end up hurting your dogs, right? So for us, 
that was something that you know we thought about with the great pyrenees but our dogs are you know they're very friendly but i tell you they do a wonderful job with keeping things away on the property they do a great job of that yeah you know so i mean um you know we hear them every night and i mean they bark like all the time when you hear people say that great pyrenees dogs do bark a lot they do bark a lot and i mean a lot a lot <laughs> it's a the wind blows they roo, 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 you know so oh yeah i'm talking about you mm -hmm. um one of the things that with Taimu is that the reason why i said you want to be careful is that Taimu he looks extremely intimidating you know uh looking into his face sometimes will make a person you know when people come over they say does he bite <laughs> and we have to say no he doesn't bite at all in fact he's just a really big baby he is come here move he's just a really big baby you know grizz is a big baby and so is this guy right here you know so look at him he loves to put his face right here his face is literally my in my elbow so but you don't want anybody to come here move you don't want anybody to see your dog and think that your dog is uh is uh vicious in any kind of way you see what i'm saying you know to us he's just a baby you know to us he doesn't look so well sometimes he does right <laughs> but um to some people Taimu can look pretty mean we're trying to get fencing together for our dogs so that we can just let them run because that's another thing about these dogs is that they love to roam okay they uh these dogs love to roam and um you know when they when i try to keep them from running across the street or running onto the neighbor's property you know that's just what the dogs do they like to do that in fact we have a neighbor that has cows and um they heard his cows are mooing like you know something was wrong with them and uh both of them just took off they jumped the fence and they ran to the cows. I mean, you, they were there in a matter of seconds. And we're talking about way across the feet, oh, way away. <laughs> These dogs were running at full speed towards the cows, right? But what if the owner was out there and thought our dogs were vicious? You know, so the owner not knowing that our dogs are here because we haven't had a chance to meet him yet because he only has pasture. He doesn't have, he's not just out there. He only has the animals out there. So what if he sees our dogs running after his cat, running towards his cows? What does that say? You know, um, you know, the first thing is, are they about to hurt my animals? And then you want to do what you can to protect them. Right? So, you know, so what you want to do is, um, you want to choose a dog that is going to be good for you and your family, you know. Okay, so we got dogs that would be great for us on our homestead. <laughs> Tamu, do you mind? So, come here. We got dogs that would be good for us and good for us on our homestead, you know and would do a good job of keeping the predators away that um you know would hurt our chickens maybe hurt our cows maybe hurt uh our goats or little jackson right here you know so we wanted to move <laughs> we wanted to get dogs that would be friendly but at the same time would look after us you know so that's why we chose the great pyrenees dogs i mean they're very very loyal and it's in their nature to roam you know so if you consider these dogs listen 
know that they are going to be going everywhere. So as we train them on the homestead, we're going to be getting um, trackers to put on their collars so that we can keep track of them and know where they are, know where they've been, you know. Come here, what's that on you? Okay. So we want to be able to, hi Mu, look into the camera. Look into the camera. Smile at the people. Smile at the people. Mu. <laughs> so we want to be able to get dogs that's going to, do that job for us you know and uh, so far these boys they're in training these are puppies still yeah they puppies <laughs> still so they're now eight months old and uh, like I said these boys are still babies and they still have some training to do they still have some some growing and some maturing to do you know they still do what puppies do they like to play so when the time comes, they do get serious about their jobs now because, um, you know, we had something come out here one night and went after our trash and, I mean, they tore up everything trying to get over there to them. So, yeah. So they're learning. But if I had to make this decision all over again, I made the right decision. I love our boys, you know. I mean, they are some great dogs. They're great dogs. <laughs> so I fell out on the ground to see if they would be like, oh no, our owner has fallen out on the ground. Let's go see what's wrong with her. So both of them looked at me when I fell and they looked at me for a few seconds and then they looked at each other and started playing again like, you'll be all right. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, they haven't gotten quite gotten there yet. <laughs> But in any case, um, our LGDs, our Livestock Guardian Dogs, we have two Great Pyrenees males. And um, we love them. We do. And I think they're going to do excellent on the homestead. And uh, again, if I had to make that decision all over again, I would make the same one. Moo? What are you doing, bud? <laughs> so, in any case, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to talk about um, at the re you know the request of one of our wonderful subscribers. I hope you saw this video. If you did, shout it out in the comment section. You know, see what I'm saying, y'all? Look at him. Nah, don't be trying to get that little sweet look on your face now. But um, so that's time when we have Grizzly and they're wonderful livestock guardian dogs, and you know we love them very much. So, with that being said, you all, thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Thank you to all of our wonderful subscribers, new, existing, and those who will be subscribing today and in the future. We appreciate each and every last one of you. Thank you so very much. Um, again, we just can't thank you enough for all of your support. So with that being said, we thank you for watching Homestead Heart. Moo thanks you. <laughs> Peace and blessings to each and every last one of you. Come on, dude. <laughs> Peace and blessings to each and every last one of you. And uh, Grizzly and Tamu and I, we will see you in the next video.